Welcome to the Social Protection Financing Module. My name is Abidemi Koker. I work as a coordinator in human rights and democracy at the Embassy of Finland in Zambia. In this module, you will learn about social protection financing. The discussion will look at how the overall social protection system is financed and at the roles of taxes and contributions in the overall financing. The module covers six core areas. One, the affordability of social protection. Two, the impacts of social protection on public finances and how to identify and monitor these impacts. Three, the numerous ways to mobilize resources necessary to create fiscal space for social protection. Four, the budget laws and regulations. Five, the legal and institutional frameworks for the financial administration of social protection. And last, public expenditure control, monitoring and oversight. When talking about social protection financing, we need to consider that countries with similar size of government resources, small or big, may take very different decisions as to the share of resources allocated to social protection. One of the targets of the Sustainable Development Goal 1 is to implement nationally appropriate social protection systems and measures for all, including the floors, and by 2030 achieve sustainable coverage of the poor and vulnerable. However, many people lack coverage by comprehensive social protection. The lack of coverage is often explained on the grounds of affordability. This module will cover three areas related to affordability. First, some may argue that social protection is a cost, while others consider social protection an investment, which is based on the consideration of the economic impact on the individual, local and national economy levels. Secondly, questions on affordability zone in on the relationships between demographic trends and the cost and benefits of social protection in Africa. The majority of African countries are home to young populations, often with rapidly growing school age persons, large proportion of youth and high rates of workforce growth. The demographic transition comprises a growing workforce relative to the total population. Hence, successful transition would mean an increase in the working age population and reduced total dependency ratio that is properly tapped to generate a demographic dividend in the form of higher growth and funding for social protection. The financing for social protection in light of these demographic trends is more connected to prevailing over the policy spaces than the fiscal space. So let's consider social protection functions and sources of finance. It is important to monitor the finances of social protection schemes and systems through nationally defined mechanisms. We can measure the performance of social expenditure in terms of effectiveness, coverage, and financing. Effectiveness refers to the general performance in relation to the social outcomes, horizontal and vertical distribution, and the administrative performance. Coverage refers to the scope or the range of risks and needs covered and the level of protection. Expenditure and financing refers to the statistical analysis of the cost and financing sources of the national social protection systems. You may find the resources on the specific indicators related to these functions in your materials. The ILO's Recommendation 202 emphasizes the importance of national social protection statistics to monitor the implementation of social protection floors and national social protection strategies. Well, this was a very brief introduction to social protection financing. To know more about the tools of financial governance of social protection, resource mobilization, and the budget process, and much more, keep up with this module's proposed activities. At the end of the module, you will learn, one, how the affordability of social protection can be demonstrated by economic evidence, and how it can be realized through adequate planning. Two, that investing in social protection in the medium and long term may lead to an enlarged fiscal envelope and an increased capacity to meet different social needs. You will also learn the main stages in the budget preparation process. And finally, you will learn that the effectiveness of social spending measures, including how well outputs are converted to outcomes and impacts. Thank you for listening.